Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Lorenzo Carlos. I'm Mateo Zagira. Today is November, Thursday, November 7th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Zombie Prom, the musical, runs until this, thir this Saturday. Performances will take place in the Black Box Theater at 7 p.m. on both Fridays and Saturdays. There will also be a 2 p.m. showing on November 9th. Support the Performing Arts program and buy tickets at the door or scan the QR code on screen. Now let's head on to Eli Amara for In The News. Good morning, Wolfpack. My name is Mara Schrantz. And I'm Eli Fisher Fernandez. We're here with your news update. Donald Trump won Tuesday's presidential election quite conclusively, winning at least 295 electoral votes and likely to win 312, well clear of the 270 necessary to win. In his victory speech, Trump called it a magnificent victory and vowed to lead a golden age of America. Kamala Harris spoke the next day, thanking her supporters and recognizing the peaceful transfer of power, but vowing to fight on. Notably, Trump won the popular vote, leading 51% to 47%, the first Republican popular vote victory since 2004. Nationally, 10 states had abortion access on their ballots this year. Out of the 10, 7 voted to add language guaranteeing abortion rights in their state's constitution. These states included Missouri, Arizona, Colorado, Nevada, Maryland, Montana, and New York. Missouri had one of the strictest abortion bans prior to the election, but voters have just approved an amendment that will guarantee abortion access up to the point of fetal, viabi fetal vi viability, generally around the 24th week of pregnancy. Florida, Nebraska, and South Dakota voted to reject further abortion access within their states. In California, Democratic Representative Adam Schiff was elected to the U.S. Senate, defeating Steve Garvey. So far, Bobby Singh Allen is in the lead for Mayor of Elk Grove with around 68% of the vote. The House is still being counted. We would like to take the time to thank those who participated in the election through casting your ballots this year. It is important to remember that each and every vote matters. Thanks for tuning in, Wolfpack. I'm Eli Fisher Fernandez. And I'm Mara Schrantz. Let's go back to the anchors. Thanks for the update, guys. The Feeding Futures Club is hosting their first camp food drive. It will go on until November 19th donate dry or canned food to the leadership room and earn five-star points. The sophomore color out will take place on, no on November 8th from 345 to 545. Fill out the RSVP form in your Google Classroom if you're interested. Friendly reminder that today is a minimum day. Here is our schedule take a picture of on the screen, or you can find the schedule on the school website and your, and your Synergy email. Well, that's all from us today, Wolfpack. I'm Lorenzo Carlos. I'm Matteo Zagiri. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Bittersweet, Bittersweet Chocolate with Almonds Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.